Hello, this guide will show you how to install and set up LMMS on a Windows PC. The first step is to go to lmms.io in a web browser. As you can see, I've already opened this web page. The next step is to click on the Download Now button. This will take you to a download page. It should automatically detect which operating system you are running and provide you with download links suitable for that operating system. Since I am on Windows, you can see up here in the bar and also here in the selector that is providing me with Windows, well I guess it says right there on the buttons, that it's providing you with Windows download links. You usually want to choose the stable version for your correct architecture, but seeing as currently LMS 1.2.0 release candidate 8 is actually much more stable and feature rich than the stable version, I will be downloading this version for the sake of the tutorial. In the future, when a better stable version is released, it will be more likely that you would want to download the stable version rather than the beta for your personal projects. Clicking on this button immediately starts an executable download. Once your software has completed downloading, you can either open it directly from the web browser or you can navigate to your downloads folder under your user account in Windows. Once you have reached this file, you can see that it is a .exe or Windows executable file. Antivirus software may falsely report that this is malicious software just because it is a .exe downloaded from the internet. If it says this, ignore your antivirus software this time and open it because it is just an installer for some music software. It may ask for administrative privileges to install to your hard drive. Once you have given it permission, it will start the setup wizard. You can navigate through this, read through and accept the public license that uh, LMMS comes with, select the installation location, and then install. Once the wizard is complete, you may finish it. Now that we've installed LMMS, let's run it and set it up. This can be done by clicking on the start button and selecting LMMS under recently added. If it does not show up there, you can start typing LMMS and it should appear as the first result. Opening this up for the first time will open up setup rather than the program itself. There are some notable things to, to, to set up about this before we begin using the software. The first is the buffer size. Depending on the performance capabilities of your PC, you may want to set this higher or lower. My computer is fairly decent, so I will set it to 1024 frames of buffer. This will introduce 23.2 milliseconds of latency so that anything I play through a MIDI keyboard for example, I will hear 23.2 milliseconds later than I play it. Lower numbers will make it easier to perform, however they require significantly more powerful hardware. If you are running this on a computer that is more than 5 years old, I would recommend something higher than 1000. If you are running the state of the art best possible parts that you can buy right now, then you might be able to get away with something in the double digits, but I would not recommend it. So I'm going to set mine to 1024. Other things that are notable is audio settings. Make sure that this is set to simple direct media layer. There are other options such as dummy, port audio, however these two often provide less than suitable results. For example, dummy literally does not give you any sound output whatsoever and for the purpose of a audio workstation software uh, unless you are doing some sort of Beethoven challenge will not be suitable for any sort of workflow. Poor audio may work however it uses some of the built-in Windows options and it can be a bit finicky at times. Simple direct media layer selecting this and then leaving the device blank actually provides the most flexible and easiest to configure audio backend 
out of all of the settings. MIDI only has one option, so select that. Auto save is on by default and say auto saves every two minutes. You can change this to whatever you like. Those are the most important settings to configure while setting up LMMS. Once those are done, you can click OK and it will give you this message. As you can see, it is opened into an empty project and now we can start making music.